So if you guys wanted to see some cool ass action in Fairy Tale this episode, we've got to say we've actually got some in Canon Fell. Now, calm down people and all that, because I know you guys went a little bit crazy last time when I said that there was filler in the whole Jalal portion of something. It was like, oh, it was something that Hero wanted to write in. And this stuff definitely feels like this uh, at all. I haven't actually checked to see if this was something that Hero wanted to write into it. But literally straight after the Gargiel fight, that's where it stops being like canon to the manga. Like it's in this volume right here like straight up I'll sh I can show you like the actual general panels and stuff like I don't want to kind of spoil a bit but literally that's right there that's where that fight ends just straight there and you know a certain situation happens you know on certain that and I don't want to spoil the next panel because you know something else or just say someone else appeared during that whole thing with Tempester and that was just a quick you know just gone over like that this one, it was like, Lux disappeared, and he decided to get his a revenge back on the series, and it's like, it was actually very well done, like, the one that we had previously with the whole Jalal and the Arashion Say stuff, which was, like, stuff that was supposed to be, so I really wouldn't be surprised if they're in there, but I just wanted to clarify that to people who didn't know, that's technically not in the manga, but I'm pretty goddamn sure that how it felt like and all that, that felt like that was going to be in the series, but... It kind of, it has its good things and it has its bad things, I guess, in the way. Like, the fight itself is awesome. The reasons, like, like how it's doing it is, like, um, it is a good and a bad thing. Because it's like, Lux is, oh, he's supposed to be down to the count. You know, that's what the whole point of the anti-magic particles were. And kind of takes away. But Lux is just being a fucking badass. Like, he know, his body is completely filled to the brim with, like, all these particles inside him. And he's still fighting. He's like, he's there bleeding. He's like... Punching his fucking leg with electricity just to get a move. And like, I gotta respect that. Like, Larsus has been a badass throughout that entire fight. Like, going in, fucking up. But I guess we can talk a little bit more about the Gargiel stuff. Where Gargiel actually, like, he, like Levy kind of forgot. It was like, oh, I could have just used, like, some, like, magic to make some more air and make a little bubble. And that gave, like, Gargiel the will to, like, fight even more. And it was just like... Continue fight, he's like, oh yeah, you gotta do that, and he's like, Levy's all blushing, he's like, oh, that was the only air I had, it was just like, and then she's like, no, you're your fucking magic moron, and it's just like, oh, you know, she knows she wanted to do that for a long ass time, and all that, it's like, she wanted a little bit of that kiss, I mean, the kiss is a little bit better in the, um, in the manga, because it's a lot more detailed shot, and it's like, close up, but because, but overall, it was a good stuff, and I like, I did like this fight, it was a bit weird to see, like, like, uh, Gaji was punching him, and he was just like, oh, by the way, like, fuck all this shit, it's like, I, and it's like, Torafus is like, I've got the biggest defense out of everyone in Tyrus, you can't possibly stop me, and it's like Gajil absorbs the carbon inside of like all the water and he actually turns himself into steel and I was like, well, like Katora Fusa looks like diamond, it's just like uh, it's like, fuck it, just punch him, it's just like, that's gone it's like, and the fight was gone, it was overall, that was a really good fight, I mean, out of all the fights that like, we haven't really seen a, theory, a water battle really in Fairy Tale, it's ever since like the Grand Magic Games really, like that one little fight that they had there, so it's nice to see, you know, an actual war fight in the series since we haven't seen one for like quite a while in there and a lot of series don't really do that and it's like overall it was a really distant battle and I really thoroughly enjoyed it and then it went over like finding out a little bit more about Gargiel like going kind of a little bit more into his past that you know one of the people the Magic Council members that kind of left was actually one of the people that was like kind of always sticking up the Gargiel when he was in like Phantom Lord trying to like always backing him up kind of like a little mother figure saying like oh yeah you kind of reminded me of my dead son and it's like I want to take care of you and stuff like that and to find out that she was killed, that kind of like really affected Gargiel really badly, and he was like, you know, getting upset about that. That's like it added a lot more depth to like Gargiel's character. He isn't just that badass. He's like, oh look at me, I'm gonna be here for a badass moment. It's like he's there, and he's like, you know, you have a bit of more emotion to him because like he's just misunderstood. I feel like that's the best way to describe the moment. And that, I can see why there's a lot of Gargiel fans out there. It's like personally, he's not my favorite, but I definitely do enjoy when Gargiel's ever in the series because he's always brings a little bit of that badassness to him. And it's like either show moments as well, even though I. Don't that what that bit was in the manga you saw him like all dicking around in the fairy tale guild and just having a good old time like that stuff there what was enjoyable it was nice thing to like just add into the story like a little bit extra bit of flavor to it but then it, we go to the Larxus and Tempest to fight it was like Tempest does like powers just make no sense it's like he's on the way it's just like I say a word and it happens so he's like he just picks up boulders throws them like that lightning fire it's like wind and all that it's like it's just very weird to see that he does that and it's just like it kind of makes this more uh, sense in the actual fight in general that he is, like, uh, this week in this fight. Because, like, you know, he's got anti-magic particles in him. And he's like, yeah, no one's really going to take him on with that sort of power. I mean, goddamn, that is some, there's some stuff to even go against. But, honestly, like, it was pretty goddamn good. Like, I gotta say, like, I this fight was very well done. It's like, it's continuing on next week. And it seems like we're going to get some canon in this episode as well next week. It seems like it. Like, honestly, it's like... 
It can't really tell too much. You know, they've done a few of this sometimes in Taros. I mean, that's honestly fine if you don't want to catch up with the manga too much. That's fine, because I think they did, like, a chapter in this episode. I, I believe there was about a chapter. So it's like, and here I did, went in, and he's like, yeah, I'm doing a bunch of chapters. And he's like, out of all the mangas, he really makes sure to do, do, like, double chapters or, like, triple, four chapters like that. It's like, he really goes in and then just does, like, a volume in, like, two weeks or something like that. I, I give props to him. And it's like, hey, you know, like, obviously, I don't mind if we go into another filler arc after this arc. Like, that's perfectly fine um going into that but that's like honestly it was a great episode i'd give it a solid a i thought it was a great episode really good way of using in canon filler don't worry it's like it's still technically filler but just the way it's done is like really well done it's like instead of just like doing like a bleach thing where it's just like oh we're just gonna go into a filler arc for like, for like 20 30 episodes just out with the randomness like that so it's a well way um done uh, way of doing it so let me know in the comments down below what you thought about that but that's all for me so thank you much for watching as always and i'll see you guys next time